Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be sharing with you my recipe for my DIY lip balm. I know a lot of people don't have time to do DIY projects, but let me tell you, my recipe only has four ingredients and frankly the hardest thing that you have to do the entire time is grating the beeswax. So I think if you can spare 20 minutes out of your day, this is something that you can easily accomplish. I've used this recipe for the past three years and even though I'm calling it a lip balm, I use it for everything. I use it as a lip balm, I use it for my cuticles, I use it as kind of like a hand balm for my hands and I put it on my face and under my eyes so it's really the most perfect thing to use. And plus since I'm making it myself, I know for a fact that there are zero chemicals in this product because everything that I'm using is organic and all natural. And honestly, that's why I started to become interested in DIY beauty products because I know what my products are made of. I know there's no chemicals. I know exactly what I'm putting into it. And that's unfortunately something I can't say for a lot of beauty products out there. So you know, something to consider. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this video. Um, this recipe is quick and easy, so if you're new to DIY, this might be the perfect recipe to start with, and if you're a pro at it, it's something easy to throw in your arsenal. So the beeswax and oils I got from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. It is important to note that once you use cooking tools for DIY stuff, especially beauty stuff, you're never going to be able to cook with them again. So use tools that aren't super expensive. So beeswax, you need two tablespoons of grated beeswax. Having it grated makes it easier to melt. I normally have a block of natural beeswax, but Whole Foods ran out, so I actually just got a beeswax candle instead. And it's actually much easier to handle and grade. Next, two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now the beauty about coconut oil, people, you can cook with it and you can frankly slather your entire body in it, including your hair. It is like a superfood for your soul. All right, next, two teaspoons of almond oil. There is something called bitter almond oil, but what you need to get is the sweet one, so make sure that you get the right one. Okay, so you have all your measurements. Now throw the three ingredients into your heat-resistant glass bowl, and then throw that bowl onto a double boiler. So to make the double boiler, put some water in a saucepan. You don't want the water to touch the bowl, so depending on how big your bowl is, you know, just measure it out. You're gonna turn the heat on, I'd say like medium-ish, and then the steam will melt the ingredients. You don't want it to boil, so I, you know, kind of just watch over it during this entire process. In five to 10 minutes, all your ingredients will melt. Uh, watch out for the beeswax, because you want it to be completely melted, so make sure that everything is in liquid form. Once that happens, take it off the heat and add 10 drops of your essential oil. Um, I'm using rose oil just because I love the smell of it. And then before it cools, transfer it to your container. I got this at the container store because frankly, I love the container store. <laughs> but you can find good cheap containers at the dollar store or craft store. All right, and then finally, you're gonna leave it at room temperature or throw it in the fridge like I'm about to do. And in 20 minutes, you'll have your very own DIY lip balm. Look at how pretty it looks, I have to tell you. It smells so good. It has kind of a light scent of rose, but mostly it smells like cocoa butter, which I love. Can just rub it, put it on my lips. Super moisturizing, sometimes put it under my eyes. Definitely on my cuticles. The reason why I wanted to go ahead and make this actually is because I'm going to Venice tomorrow and um, stuff like this. My DIY lip balm has been super crucial on long airplane rides because my hands and cuticles get trapped really easily, so sometimes I, you know, scrape it out and just rub it. Ooh, that feels so good. <laughs> and there's something super gratifying about making your own beauty products, I have to say. And like I said, this only took, what, 20 minutes to make, 20 minutes to cool down, and now this will probably last me a good couple months, so it's 100% worth it if you wanna give it a shot. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and share. Um, don't forget to comment if you have any cool DIY beauty recipes, please let me know. I would love to test them out. On the bottom, click that subscribe button, and that's it. I'll see you all later. Bye.